Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Um, this is gonna be my first requested video. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. So I just want to say first off, I'm gonna try to keep this short, but to my new subscribers, <laughs> thank you for supporting me and uh, requesting this video of me kind of explaining more in detail of like my supplies and my techniques and stuff like that. Um, I'm so happy to make this video, you know, I'm like totally down for like sharing my secrets, but uh, like also where I get my supplies and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I wanna go ahead and share with you so that you can start creating yourself. First, I'm going to talk about the essential supplies and tools that I use for jewelry making. Um, and it's going to be my pliers, beading wire, and of course beads. So I buy my beads at local craft stores like Michael's, Joann's, Hobby Lobby. They also sell like these bead kits there and usually it comes with like a already like a plastic divider that has a bunch of different beads in them. I would recommend those for a beginner trying to grow your bead collection. The pliers that I use are round nose pliers, flat nosed, and also wire cutters. You can find them pretty cheap at those same local craft stores or even I'd say Amazon. I personally got mine from Michaels and Hobby Lobby. All right, and now we're into the essential jewelry findings. So I use crimp beads, wire protectors, and crimp covers. Using these three together are gonna make sure that your jewelry is both durable and also high quality. So I use silver beading wire, the 0.3 millimeter and also the 0.45 millimeter. And these I actually got at Walmart and I bought those I'd say almost two years ago and I still haven't even used all of it. And on top of that, I think they were like around $3.99. So super good deal for super good wire. <laughs> all right, now it's time for the supplies that are good to have but are still optional. We have our earring hooks, eye pins, and jump rings. All right, so we'll go ahead and start with the jump rings. So for jump rings, they come in all different sizes and you just have to get the ones that are best suited for what type of jewelry you will be making. Jump rings can be used to attach chain to your jewelry, also clasps and pendants. Also, just a quick side note, when you're shopping online, you want to make sure that you're reading the reviews because a lot of this material can definitely be made cheaply. So you just want to watch out, make sure you're spending your money on high quality materials because it makes a big difference. All right, and then we have eye pins. So usually I use these for my earrings. If you were watching the video I have up here, it's kind of like a background video. You can see just how I use them. If you're looking to make earrings, I definitely say that this is more of an essential, especially if you're a beginner to jewelry making, just because they're easy to use and the loop is already made for you. But if you're wanting another option, 22 gauge half hard wire is the exact same wire as eye pin wire it's a lot of wire <laughs> um but yeah you just want to make sure that you get the semi hard wire or it'll just be kind of difficult to make those loops especially if you don't have a one-step looper and also i'll be talking about the one-step looper later in this video as well but yeah just find whatever suits best for you if you're a beginner like i said definitely go for the eye pins but if you're planning on making a lot of earrings go ahead and find yourself some 22 gauge wire all right and last but not least earring hooks i'm not going to talk too much about earring hooks just because it's kind of self-explanatory just get them if you want to make earrings but other than that they're not really needed for any other type of jewelry i don't think all right and the last thing i'm going to be talking about in this video is going to be the one step looper so for the one step looper, I definitely recommend it if you're planning on making jewelry that involves a lot of loops obviously like for example say like a rosary style chains or something like this because manually doing all those loops is going to take a long time. 
So having this tool can really save up some time and also make the loops look cleaner. All right, and that concludes all of my essential beading supplies. If you have any questions or if you want to request a video, just leave a comment below or follow me on Instagram and message me there. Also tag me on any of my social media platforms if you end up making any type of jewelry. I would love to see it. All right, and thanks for watching and have a great day.